Hello everyone. I've been asked recently how I set up my workspace and therefore I decided to create a couple of videos as a series where I show you how I set up my, um, my Photoshop, my Capture One, uh, my Wacom settings and also my uh, monitor settings for my ISO monitor. I also would like to ask you a little favor. If you have found any value in this channel yet, please subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, also activate the bell to be notified when the new videos are online and if you haven't commented yet that would be a great help to grow the channel because the youtube algorithm loves when you interact with the video so please leave your comments leave your reviews if that was any help for you and also forward it to a friend or colleague that might benefit from uh, the content as well and now let's dive into the video all right, so let's start with Adobe Photoshop. As you can see here, I'm working in Adobe Photoshop 2023. That's the latest version. And this is what Photoshop looks like when you open it for the first time. So I just opened an image and you can see the workspace is arranged as the defaults are set uh, here in the workspace menu. Default essentials, uh, that's what it looks like when Photoshop opens from out of the box. So what I want to do is I want to create my own workspace. So I want to move these over here. I want to set uh, all the windows as I need them. So I encourage you to think about what you really need in your workspace. Uh, what, what are your go-to essential tools and then arrange it to have everything handy because that essentially will save you time and give you a more frequent workflow. So I want to show you how I um, set up my workspace and I'm going to open the recent uh, one for you and you can see that I moved the toolbar from the left to the right and I have everything set up on the right side. That is because I'm right-handed and I'm working on the Wacom Intrus Pro tablet that is large and therefore I can use my arm and my, uh, uh, my um, Wacom pen to actually reach everything that I need. So, uh, in detail, I have separated the layer, the path, and the channels because I do want to have an overview at all time. I do work with a lot of layers, so uh, that's, that's one way to uh, have more control. I have uh, the layers on this side. I have the path. If I use uh, maskings or anything, I have them here. I have the channels here, and I do have the properties here. Let's start with the tools. These are here and I have the colors here and I um, also have set uh, all things extra that I uh, work with on the right side as well. That's the histogram, that's the history states, uh, it's the info palette and of course it's the, it's the tools, right? The brush settings and everything because I want to set it up on the fly as I go. But the other very important thing is that I have all my actions here because I use a ton of actions. I create actions for every tedious step that I have on the way. And these are, for example, for exporting files. It's for creating solar curves for visual uh, evaluation. It's to um, work with uh, like tools that help me uh, optimize a file, and to uh, flatten files, clean the document and my uh, dodge and burn layers, my um, frequency separation actions, uh, all my actions that I need for my everyday tasks. And there are quite a lot, as you can see. But this is just personal. Of course, uh, you don't have to work with actions and you only work with those uh, things that simplify your life, okay? Don't get uh, distracted by that. I do have my, my panels here. Um, this is the Infinite Unify panel that I use very often. It's the Infinite Retouch panel. <coughs> Those are uh, from Infinite Tools uh, by my friends Stefan Kola and Pratik Naik. And you can, uh, of course, check them out in the link in the description. And I do have uh, other tools like the Visualizer. Um, that is very essential if you want to find uh, textures that you can use in your images or if you want to uh, create looks with the infinite uh, looks panel, which is really exciting. I also have a plugin that is the Color Scheme Designer. That's a free plugin that you can use uh, to create color harmonies, um, check uh, which colors go well with each other, 
and um, then you can put those palettes into your image with one click. I also work with Lumensia. That's a very powerful tool for uh, luminosity masking. I highly encourage you to check it out. Uh, there will be a link in the description and that is the one that uh, is on my list for many, many years now and I love using it. It's by Greg Benz and make sure to check it out. All right, the other thing that I need to point out is that I love working uh, with the full canvas of an image. So I hit the letter F once and then I can move it around, I can zoom in and I have my tools floating over them all the time. All right, that's Adobe Photoshop. And in the next video, I'm going to explain to you how I set up Capture One. Stay tuned.